everybody. <clears throat> Hi everybody, it's Robin from Roaming with Rover. This is the follow-up video to the Pick a Kit. This thing seems a little bit jabberwocky. Let me see if I can get that. That's a little better. Okay, so remember I showed you three different kits that Morgan had chosen and you guys voted on to see which one you wanted me to make. And the options were the gnome, the ruana, that beautiful black and white ruana, or that lovely purple blanket, all of which were gorgeous, all of which I wanted to do, and none of which I ever made time for, along with the other dozens of kits that I have. So you got to vote on which kit I should start on and whichever kit got the most votes is the one that I'm going to make make first eventually I'll make all of them but that's the one I'm gonna make first and whichever kit got the most votes I'm going to pick from everybody that voted on that kit and those people that voted on that kit I'm gonna pick one person to win this beautiful furls crochet hook okay and then when I get that kit made I will go through again and choose I'll show you guys that kit when it's done and you guys can all put it in again for another giveaway and just comment on that one and we will do another little giveaway just a little fun giveaway I was frankly surprised I thought I thought it would be fairly evenly the voting would be fairly evenly spread out among the three kits I love all three of the kits I thought I really really thought it would be very very close among the three kits it was not it was a landslide for one of them I, I was shocked I was shocked so it was a landslide for the gnome and I'm glad I, I mean and I wouldn't have cared which one I love them all I want to make all of them but I was really surprised that this is the one that is going to be the winner. This is the one I'm going to be making first, this gnome. And this gnome is part of the Annie's Hook and Needle Kit Club. And this is the springtime gnome. It says it's a doorstop. And I think you put some beads or something, some beans in the bottom to make it heavy. I probably will do that actually just to keep it from falling over. Um, this kit... Oh, here's the thing. This kit came to me, I think I've had it for over two years. Uh, yeah, because I received this when I was in Pecos. So, January of 22 is when I got it. The kit cost $19.99, and there was shipping and handling and tax. It was $28 for this kit. I'm glad I'm going to be doing this kit. I've been wanting to make a gnome for a long time, and I think this will show me that it's just not that big a deal to make a gnome. And when you do the hook and gnome, and the hook and gnome is still an option for Annie's, when you, get, when you do the hook and gnome kit, you get all of the stuff that you need and the booklet to make, any, the, to make the item in a crochet or a knit. I, of course, will be making this in a crochet. I think for the amigurumi items, I think they look better in crochet most of the time. And I think doing them in the knit just seems very fiddly. This is him in the crochet, all his little parts. And this is him in the knit. You tell me what you think. But I'm doing it in the crochet. I'm, I'm not doing this in the knit. I can't imagine doing this in the knit. Oh, here's a big one. Here's a big one of him in the knit. 
It's cute. There's a little hat. There's a little nose. There's a little body. Yeah, absolutely doing this in the crochet. So I'm going to start that. Don't know when. Uh, I got to finish a couple. I got almost, almost everything I'm working on. I'm right close to finishing. So I've got a couple things I need to finish. Then I will start this. So within the next couple of weeks, I'll get started on it. And then you guys will watch him grow. There's all the yarn that's included in the kit. There's some stuffing, although I'm pretty sure it'll need more stuffing than that. But I've got lots of stuffing. Let's open this yarn up and see what we're dealing with. It says, I'll bet you, I'll bet it doesn't even say on there what kind of yarn it is. It's so cute. There's a little bit of the yellow. That's that's just for the middle of the flowers. It says uh, machine wash, tumble dry. This is 100% acrylic. That's all it says, 13 yards. That's a very basic acrylic. All of these, I bet, are just going to be a bit, very basic acrylic. You can get it out of there. Yeah, it's, it's a rough acrylic, which I wouldn't expect this to be fancy yarn. It's not bad. I felt worse, actually, but it's not great. It's a very basic acrylic. And... Whoops! Threw that on the floor. Real pretty green. Yeah, very, very basic acrylic. Nothing fancy at all. And then we've got a little, oh, this is very squished. So I bet you when we open this, this is gonna puff, puff right up. But that's it. You get the yarn and you get some stuff, some stuffing. And that's it. And the instructions and what kind of a hook do we need it says it's nine inches wide and 13 inches high that's pretty big i mean this could be this big that's a nice size it could be bigger than this actually uh with whip stitch together weave in your ends worsted weight yarn there's a star on it but I don't know. Oh, because we have to, we, we will also need a, a size F hook, which is a five, a B hook, which is 2.25, 2.25 millimeters, a five pound bag of rice to keep that thing a two gallon plastic food storage bag with a zipper. So we're gonna put the rice in the bag, put that inside the bottom. And a tapestry needle and some straight pins. I know the straight pins, you pin the little arms on to hold them in place while you're sewing them together. The arms and the legs and stuff. I know that little trick. I know that little trick. So yeah. So the rice or beans or whatever you wanna use you could even use probably some, not pebbles, what do I want to say, gravel, some little bits of gravel. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. I'm really excited. Okay, so what are you going to win? This beautiful pearls crochet hook. This is a size J, a 6.0 millimeter hook. And wouldn't it be funny if I was giving away the hook I needed for this? An F need an F hook for that. And this is going to go, so I've got, I'll tell you what, I had a heck of a time finding a giveaway tool for this thing. Okay, so we're going to see how many entries we have. Did it tell me? It did not tell me, but there's a bunch of them. Okay, let's close this. See entries. I know there was like 65, I think, right around in there. There's a bunch. All of these are the entries. All of these are the people that put the word gnome, and that was the requirement. You had to put the word gnome, G-N-O-M-E, in your answer, in your vote. You had to vote for the word gnome. 
and so let's close that we're going to start the contest this is the first time I've used this giveaway tool I had to bounce and bounce and bounce to find a giveaway tool that let me put the word gnome in there it's flipping around it's flipping around and the answer is Fell 944. Now I recognize her. It says, Hi Robin, how are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm drinking my water, working on my broomstick wrap. I pick number one, the gnome. Stay safe. Okay, that is a valid answer. I'm going to take a picture of this so I don't lose it somehow. Now I am going to post this on my community tab. So Fell 944. I am going to put your name in the comments. I'm going to pin it to the top of the comments with my um, my email for winners. I've got a special email just for winners. And I'm going to give you a word that you need to add. You need to go back into your comment on the original on your original entry and you'll have to add a special word to that so that I know it's you. And then I will get your information and have you and I'll mail this out to you. As long as you're in the United States, you have to have a US mailing address. I just feel like, I feel like you've got a different name that you go under, because this picture looks super familiar. Okay, I don't love this giveaway tool, but I could not find it, I couldn't get a different one that would let me put the, the word in. And I know I've used them before, so I don't know why this was a thing. But anyway, there it is. There's the winner, congratulations. Please congratulate Fell, F-E-L. Please do not put the name down below. If you see it, just say congratulations to the winner. And you've got one week, one week to respond to me. Thank you so very much and thanks for playing. Now remember, when I'm done making this, I'll be doing another video and I'll be showing the finished product and then we'll have another giveaway. Just, we'll have, just, you'll just need to comment on that video, the upcoming video. And that will, we'll have a little giveaway for that as well. It's going to be a little bit before we've got that done, but it's going to be fun watching that uh, grow. And you'll be able to see the progress of that in the Finish It Friday. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.